Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wolf and welcome to a little let's play, well, not really a little let's play, this is going to be a full let's play of Assassin's Creed Liberation. This is the HD version. I've been wanting to play it for a while, but I've been putting it off for stupid reasons. So we're going to just change my name. What did I just do? Okay, I thought I accidentally exited the game for a moment. Connect with the past. Relive history. Using Abstergo's incredible research into genetic memory, Animus gives you the chance to game within the past. To, to what? The product you have purchased <laughs> allows you to access the memories of Aveline de Grandpré, an 18th what? century just, assassin just the one person? That's a caught bit... between two worlds. Okay. Fighting to find her true purpose. I mean, if you buy like something like Make that, you'd expect to get yours. more stories, but history but you know, is our playground. Animus. What the hell is this? Is this a loading screen or am I meant to be doing something? Okay, it's a loading screen. So yeah, the last Assassin's Creed game I actually did a let's play on was number four or Black Flag as it was known as. And in that one, which you should probably be familiar with, they've killed off... What's his name? Desmond? And I'm really glad they did because it sort of leaves the franchise a little bit more open with the way they can do things. So they're not just limited to focusing purely on Desmond's ancestors, which is something that I like. <laughs> yes, come back. How do I, how do I sprint? Ooh. Oh, yes. Right trigger. Ah, I see. Assassin's Creed, the chicken hunter. That's that's what I booted this up for. But yeah, I was originally going to play this on PS... Uh, I think either PSP or PS Vita. But then when it came out as a HD version on PC, I was like, yeah, why the hell not? And I want to get back into Let's Playing as well. Perfect for plantation work, monsieur. Look at this one. Hard working, strong, healthy too. Actually, no, the last one I played was. Keep your place, Congo. Freedom Cry, that's right. As I was saying, monsieur, this one is strong as an ox. It's in good health, and all not counting the missing dolls. Mama? I love how she just, like, abandons her daughter. Like, okay. Like, what is it with some parents and not watching their kids? Bypass the guards via the backyard. Hey, there's a chest here. Can I... Can I actually get that? Or do I have to... Like, am I screwed? I'm really interested to see the new gameplay mechanics in this. Like, they're not... Being a... A portable game originally, it do doesn't seem like it has much. But I did play it a little bit and just to test it out and stuff, but this was like a year ago and it seemed to have some decent changes. Mama! Pardon, madame. You there! Bantling pest! I'll have you arrested! It's a bit harsh. I mean, to a little girl, you know. Okay. Hold B to parry. Yep, here we go. Tutorial stuff coming in here. Attack. I have to... Yeah, okay. So this is one of those... Those locked tutorials, which mean I can only... I can only do the stuff that it tells me to do. How do I pick up the weapon? Can I not pick up the weapon? Okay. I was kind of would hope would get a like an origin story as to how she gets her hidden blades, but it doesn't seem like it's going to explain it. Like what's happening here? Holy cow. Holy cow. 
Uh, look away, Evelyn. <laughs> yeah, that's some freaky dicky shit. You need to see a psychiatrist if you're dreaming about that kind of stuff. Oh, Avalon's their name. You were shouting again. Was it the nightmare? We... Oui. Only a dream. I'm sorry to have woken you. Shh, ma chérie, shh. Never apologize. A mother worries. Even a stepmother. Thank you, Madeleine. Maman, do you worry too? Did you forget me? Or are you gone? I think the bitch forgot you. In any case, the night has better uses than sleep. I really get the feeling we're not getting an origin story about how Avalyn became Avalyn Avalyn became an assassin. Maybe Connor made her one because he was a master assassin. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's do assassin stuff. Full sync. Damn right. Um, can I- oh yes, that's right, right trigger to run. Yeah! Yeah, look at this assassin stuff that- Okay, that was a bit lucky. I thought I was dead then. We have uncovered news of a plantation from which slaves are vanishing. The owners reported their escape, but our network can find no trace of them. If you don't your slave guys, perhaps you can investigate this mystery from within. Well, is that all I'm good for, huh? A dressing chamber has been prepared for you in a strategic location. From the top of the cathedral, you will see it. From the top of the cathedral, okay. Okay, I haven't played... Oh, wow, it has been a while since I played an Assassin's Creed game in this engine. Because, like, the, the last Assassin's Creed game I played was Unity, and I liked it because... First of all, I mean, the animations were freaking amazing, and the way they changed the mechanics was good. Because they actually had proper stealth mechanics, although they had some elements which sort of ruined it. Like when you're hiding behind a barrel or something, and the guard, like it looked like you were in plain sight of the guard, it sort of ruined the immersion. But the fact that you could actually go into a proper stealth mode and duck and things like that, uh, it, it helped a lot. It, it changed Assassin's Creed, I'd say for the better. Mm. Whereas this, it's just very... I remember when I played the first Assassin's Creed, the, the stealth mechanics went, like, all it was was pretty much just staying out of sight, and that was about it. There wasn't really, there wasn't really much to it. You didn't, you couldn't really, like, hide behind anything, or, like, stick to it or anything like that. You couldn't really use cover. Ah, yes, that's right. I've, I've been playing Uncharted 4 as well. And a lot of the jumping and climbing requires you to press A. I'm not used to going back to this Assassin's Creed stuff where it's just, you know, you push in a direction that sort of does the rest for you. Come on, Evelyn. What do your eagle eyes see? Ubisoft Sophia. Not familiar with that one. Oh yeah, good old Assassin's Creed music. So I am looking forward to playing or doing a Let's Play of Rogue after this, so hopefully I can get this one finished sooner than than what I've done with like a lot of other... Did I just resynchronize? I did, didn't I? Oh no, 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 okay, she didn't do it. Okay, cool. It's a bit of a frame rate drop there. But yeah, I want to do Assassin's... Like, I want to do it in order, so... Uh, playing... This, which was obviously released before Assassin's Creed Rogue. I want to do Rogue, and then I want to do Unity. Uh, I want to do Chronicles. Hey. Why? Why? Why are they suspicious of me? What have I had? Oh, 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 okay. Well, probably because I'm dressed as an assassin. Alright, that would make sense. But yeah, I want to do uh, Chronicles, and then I want to play Assassin's Creed Syndicate as well, so... 
hopefully I can get this done and not be like a like a no hoper and you know have a let's play that runs for like an entire year when I could have finished it in like a month because that's the way I can be sometimes okay change it to will arrive at the plantation a perfect cover hide in a wagon and follow the cart to discover the location without being seen it, it's great to see that I'm still after all this time getting interrupted in a let's play El Diablo? What are you talking about, El Diablo? I'm not sure how long I'm going to make each one of these videos. But I think I'll finish this mission. See how we go. I want to play it properly though. I want to do like proper stealth stuff. So I might take a while to do it. And it may be a little bit like mundane. But that's kind of how I want to play. I want to... I don't want to be impatient with an Assassin's Creed game anymore. I want to take my time. Like I do with a lot of stealth games. Like... I've been playing, uh, what was that game? Metal Gear Solid? Phantom Pain? And it can take me like an hour, or sometimes even two, to finish a mission that could take someone like 20-30 minutes if you just run in guns blazing, or screw shit up. Because I really, really like just taking my time to do the stealth. Okay, let's go down here. What's this? Is this a wanted poster? Please be a wanted poster. Where is it? Oh, yeah, here we go. There we go. So that's got rid of some of my, uh, my notoriety-ness. My wantedness. My want wanted meter. What? I just pulled the damn poster down and I'm already... It's... I don't know why it is. Okay, it's because... Because I'm black. Automatically, I'm just a wanted person. Is that how it is? That's how it is. Now, where's this chest? There's a chest in here. Some people got mad in my uh, Black Flag playthrough that I wasn't opening chests and stuff that I passed. Personally, I think they are redundant. I think collectibles are the worst bloody thing in a video game. Seriously? Just... Stop getting up in my grill because I'm black. Far out. Oh. Oh, hey, that guy looked at me and didn't give a shit. I saw that. Tear down posters to lower the slave's persona. Oh, okay. See, that's another- that seems like a pretty cool thing. Like, each persona has its own- Whoop, be, whoop, whoop, whoop. Each persona will have its own sort of, like, wanted level. Oh yes, the first kill of the video, finally. Did we break that window? I hope not. Where's this wagon you want me to get into? Holy cow, Evelyn, that was that was a jump and a half. Alright, alright, we'll get this chest as well. But yeah, I think they're sort of like like it's redundant. Like like I get I don't really get much out of it apart from a bit of money, and that's about it. Which, in Assassin's Creed Black Flag, there were quite a lot of other ways to earn it after some time. Although the economy was much better in Rogue, I like that. Okay, there's the wagon, and I'm gonna have to do like a super... Super sprinty run for it. Oh, look at this, this is so clutch! So clutch! I knew it, I knew we could do it. I had no doubt. What? What just happened? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, what have I done? <laughs> okay, let's pick up this crate. So this is nice, like, you know, disguising yourself and getting, like, full into the, like, slave role and things like that. I like that. Guards detect the slave slower while carrying a crate. Okay. So can I, like, can I have, like, the hidden blade? Like, can I drill a hole in the bottom of the box and put the hidden blade in there? And then make a guard look in the crate, sort of like a dick in a box. And then as I, like, as they look in the crate, I push the hidden blade through into their eye or something. Because that would be, like, really, really cool. Like, that'd be, like, like, super assassin level sort of cool. Okay, let's speed that up a bit. I don't need to worry about that guy. Can I kill him? 
Can I can I assassin him? Woo! Woo! Alrighty. Okay, so I just screwed over my notoriety. Let's go this way. Let's go up. Uppy up. Oh, I can get, um, what's it called? Okay, let's do this. Let's be like, like again, let's get full into the role and remember where I left this crate. And then like, do assassin stuff. Like that viewpoint. Let's go. Can I do, can I get a round? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's... That wasn't what I had in mind, but it, it worked, so I'll take it. Let's get this viewpoint. So glad they removed this viewpoint crap from Far Cry Primal. Oh yeah, I'm noticing a massive frame rate drop when it does that viewpoint thing. So I have reason to suspect, because of like Ubisoft's cinematic reasons, they went and made it 30 frames per second. That's just a, it's a bit irritating. I would have liked if it. No, Avalyn, you don't do that. Up, up, up. No. Okay, okay. Pick it up. There we go. See, they didn't even know. That's how assassin I am. Can I? Okay. I think I'm stuck up here until. God damn it. Can I hide bodies? Okay, I'm getting a little immersed. If I go quiet, you know why. I'm getting a little... A little full on into this. Okay, so I've got... I've got to where I need to go. Whoop! Okay, cool. Who are you? How did you get past the guards? We have plenty of trouble here already. Don't so the voice more. acting hasn't Aveline, completely improved as usual. Slaves have been reported escaped, but none has yet reached any safe house. My contacts fear the worst. If you are a spy, Avelyn, you won't find no cause for persecution here. My brothers have vanished, then my aunt. Today my youngest sister, Therese. They ain't escaped, as you say. They are taken. Besides Therese, would never survive on our own. I'll find her. If any have trodden through these fields, they must have left tracks. Hmm. <laughs> Okie dokie. She seems pretty well dressed for a slave. I just gotta, like, I don't know, maybe... I'm not really sure what they dressed like back then, but that outfit actually looks pretty decent to me. I don't see what the problem is. Okay, oh, okay, so I... I I didn't need to go to the viewpoint just yet. I sort of messed that up, did I? Oh, yeah. All right, let's go back and repeat that process. All right, Avelyn, what did you see? Let's drop down. I want to start killing some of these guards, these bloody slavey people. Oh, this is intense. Oh, somebody saw me. And now they don't. Because I'm a I'm badass assassin. That's why. What else can I equip? I thought I unlocked the, the, mo the mohawk thingy. I sort of unlocked the tomahawk thing. Apparently Connor's tomahawk using my Uplay points. Don't be afraid, Therese. I'm a friend. Who did this? Your master? No. This son. Oh, please help. Be strong. I'll get you to safety. You'll pay for this. Uh-oh. Guards, hurry. We've got rats in the barn. <laughs> the only rats here are these three. Wow, they've really, they've really dumbed down the speed of the combat in this. Oh yes, that's the sort of shit I miss from Assassin's Creed. This nightmare, I can't take no more. 
His terror is over, Therese. Stay with me. We must hurry. Okay, so we basically just put every single slave, every single slave's live. Oh, I can loot the bodies. So we just put all their lives at risk. Okay. That was a nice thing to do. Looty looty. Yeah, you like patting them down, don't you, Avelyn? Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm really not fond of these loading screens every time I'm going in and out of a building. I get that it's a portable. Avelyn, my daughter, wandering alone at dawn. Where have you been? After the nightmare, I went to take air. Dear stepmother, I'm grown now. You needn't worry for my safety. You underestimate the dangers of the world. If not your safety, then do your reputation. Why must you be so headstrong? I wish you would- In truth, Madeleine, I'm in need of your assistance. I'm afraid it's urgent. Uh, what now? While walking, I was startled by cries of distress. Following them, I discovered a woman, a slave. Badly wounded. Where is she? I will send help. She awaits in a wagon outside in the street. Evelyn! Don't be cross. I knew you'd know the thing to do. I couldn't risk leaving her to perish. Or worse. Or worse. You have already sentenced her to persecution by your very impulsiveness. <sighs> very well. I will not turn my back now, not that you have left me much choice. I will see that she is treated in utmost discretion. <sighs> Thank you, Madeleine. In the meantime, hurry to town and fetch her new traveling clothes. Go quickly. We have no time to lose. <sighs> okay, before we continue, I'm actually going to end that one there because I think I, I've been playing for a fair bit of time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I am... Very, very happy to be back into doing Let's Plays. It feels good, and I cannot wait to get through that giant backlog. But that's all I have for now, and as usual, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next video.